The Marikana hearings have come to a close with evidence leaders calling for reconciliation and the healing of the wounds caused by the deaths of 44 people in August 2012. Chair Judge Ian Farlam described the mammoth process as more harmonious than initially anticipated. Over the next three months, the commissioners will work tirelessly towards finalising their recommendations to be submitted to the presidency by March 2015. As the inquiry wraps up, the police's role in the Marikana events and the carrying of weapons have been defended. It is people who the law authorizes them to carry firearms and other weapons within the constraints of the law so that you and I here can have our law and order in place. I'm not defending individuals, I'm defending the institution of the police service. Lawyers for injured minors called for criminal prosecutions against several prominent individuals. But police lawyers argue it would be surprising if the commissioners support this. I'll be seriously surprised if the president receives your report, which is an advice to him. That says uh, there are pointers of criminal wrongdoing on the part of the National Commissioner of Police. Please have this investigated. And uh, where evidence prima facie points to culpability, then have the DPP prosecute. Lawyers for injured minors argue the killing of two policemen was the smoking gun that led to 34 minors being shot dead days later. These people were regarded as the enemy we know what happens, what we should do, what should we do as a country with uh, reasonable people who threaten the authority of our state. In closing statements, evidence leaders called for reconciliation. There should be some form of memorial. We left it open as to what that should be. It doesn't have to be a statue. There are many ways of memorializing an event. But we made the submission that there should be some memorializing of what happened and that it must be that the memorial must be a memorial for all the commissioners will now finalize their recommendations to president jacob zuma yes the commission adjourns for the last time day 300 of the farlem commission done and dusted during this time 56 witnesses took to the stand the country now awaits the inquiry's findings Nozintombi Mia, SABC News, Centurion.